And it's not just, this is not one play, but just the play overall of Dylan Raiola. Nope. As a true freshman, going out there and operating this offense the way he has. And, you know, the wind conditions in that Rutgers game really affected the throwing, but he still made yep. the most of it, especially in the first half. And I think if he would have finished that day with a big finish, and, you know, you may, I think we're looking at it even bigger than what it was, but, you know, he has played above serve at this point. I, there's, I, I, when you have a true freshman, to get what he's given you already, um, you know, you, you look at the completion percentage, you know, he's going to challenge for the, the, the school record for completion percentage in a season. And, and, you know, he's got a chance to have one of the best freshman seasons at quarterback we've ever seen. And the number on that last graphic, four turnovers, which is remarkable thinking where Nebraska was last year. That's a big part of what he's doing to taking care of the ball. Oh, absolutely. That's that's a huge part of how this team's had success through the first through the first six years or six years, excuse me, six games. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's his ability to take care of the football and the, and the defense the ability to to get back in, the, in his hands. Yeah. Um, we, that was that was a bugaboo of this team last year. The t amount of times they shot themselves in the foot, just, it wasn't interceptions, it was just ball handling. Kick, just getting a simple snap. Um, he does the simple things right, yeah. and that's where you start off, and that's what's most impressive uh, about Dylan Raiola, is his ability to look calm in all these situations and do the little things and the, the simple things correctly. Um, he makes a ton of tough throws, but his ability to throw a nice screen ball. Uh, a nice, you know, just a simple pass. I mean, this, that pass right there, you see Great the pass, fantastic, right? The arm angle and getting the angle to, to get it there. Um, haven't had a quarterback to be able to make those simple throws in the short intermediate passing game a long time. Sean, we would, we would, we would normally be talking about this. We haven't. I'm the third left tackle from what they expected coming in. That's that, both offensive line, coaching, and the fact that Gunnar Gatola stepped in and did what he's done. You know, you're right. I think when if you would have told me, Michael, they'd be at Gunnar Gatula right now because of the situation, I'd, I'd be really worried. But it has not been a liability at all. He is at least, you know, played at a, a serviceable Big Ten level. I mean, yep. no, no one's expecting him to be an all Big Ten level left tackle in his first action. But um, he has not been a liability. He's held strong. And I think, you know, Nebraska has schemed smartly, too. I don't think they're putting him in tough situations where Helping him. you know they they help him with the back or a tight mm -hmm. end so I, I i think they know the situation and they've managed it really well and you know turner corcoran and teddy prohaska were both veteran guys that he had to step into and you know when when they when he went out when those guys went out with the injury oh man they would be in a lot of trouble and they've been able to not make that a liability at this point now it's going to get tough um, the next few weeks because Indiana's got an elite edge rusher. Ohio State, we know, has got plenty of <laughs> USC. Um, so it, yeah. it's going to pick up a lot for that left tackle. No doubt.